It's Dawson uh, from Young Farts RV Farts. Just showing you today, you might be looking for a window. I'm showing you the proper way to measure the window so that uh, if you order a window from us, you, you know it'll fit. Uh, a lot of people message me, there's 10 different ways people measure windows. They'll come from the outside, measure the width and height. Don't do that, because you're not gonna get the right measurement. If you order the window like that, probably won't fit. What I like to do is, if you look here, there's a frame with a ton of screws holding in this window. I go from the center of one screw with the tape to the center of the other. So that's 21 and a half. Center of the bottom screw to center of the top screw, 36 inches. That's the measurement you want because basically that measurement that we just took there is the size of this hole. If I was to take this window out, which I'll show you right away, that measurement is the measurement of the hole it's going into. And if you get that measurement lined up with the one you're buying from us, then we know it fits like a glove and you, you got a window that works. So you figured out what measurement your window is based off the hole the window sits in. Good job. Now there's three types of windows that there can be. There's ones that are screwed on the outside of the trailer to hold them in. There's ones that are actually glued right to the trailer itself. But the most common type is the one you saw in the previous video with the screws on the inside going around the frame, sandwiching it together. Now there's one thing when you're looking at our windows, trying to compare and make sure that it works for you, you're gonna notice that windows have drain marks on the windows, whether it be vertical or horizontal, so that the water can drain out of them. Now if it's on the wrong side, don't worry. If you flip this one around, you just basically have to notch out two little drain holes so that the water can escape. Now another thing people tend to do, they look at the trailer that's come from factory and they see this nice silicone bead that's all going all the way around it. That was done at a factory. I see so many people put in a window and they decide, you know what? I'm gonna try to make that nice bead with, uh, with ProFlex. Well, I tell you what, almost nine times out of 10, it ends up making a complete and utter mess. These things are held in and sealed with just butyl tape. Do not, and I'm telling you, do not try to seal yourself. It's just gonna turn out a mess, it's gonna be ugly. So we're gonna show you how you go about and change out a window. Welcome inside. So basically these ones are sitting pretty simple. And like Jagger said, nine out of 10 windows. This is the standard setup you see with the screws on the inside. We're just gonna go ahead and remove all the screws. It's a tedious job removing the screws, but we'll be good. All right, as you can see now, I got the inner frame off. So this now separates this from this. So now we're gonna go to the outside, meet me and Jagger out there, and we'll show you how to maybe get this sucker out of the hole. Now, the only thing holding this window against this side of the trailer is butyl tape. And that's what you use to get it properly sealed, not that silicone like Jagger was that's saying. That's what I was saying. If you don't have one of these, let me show you here. Just a flat bar, any kind, makes the job a lot easier. You see what you end up doing without scratching the trailer, is you can end up just sticking it in there, just wedging it in, and just lightly pull, lightly pull. And you aren't gonna wanna pull the whole window out just in that corner. You're gonna wanna go to the next section. Lightly pull, do you hear those crackles? That means the window is working its way out. Around here, oh boom, you hear it? Over here, stick her on in. And here you go, you hear the whole window starting to crackle, it's sounding good. Now sometimes it's better to have two people, not just one, so if this thing comes falling out, it doesn't break, but I'm assuming your window's already broken. So, I mean, oh. <laughs> here you go. Keep going on her, working your way around the whole window. And you're gonna get to a point where you feel like you really just wanna pull it. Don't pull it too soon. You might end up bending the frame. Keep going at her. Keep working. Here, Dawson, get that other side a little bit as high as you can go. Perfect, can oh. you see that? Like a glove, I got the magic touch here. Boom. And that right there is one good used window you'll find on our online store. Hopefully it's the size you need. If not, we got a bunch more sizes. They're coming. If you don't see it now, it's coming. So now that we got that out, this is that measurement we were talking about at the start. Jagger, grab a tape. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. 
So we got there. Nice. That was the measurement. That we got here. Nice. That was the measurement. So now, the way we measured that with the hole size, we now know that this is the size of the hole that the new window needs to fit into. So all our windows are usually measured with that size. Now the thing is, on these windows, they tend to have, let's see if this one does. They all come with markings. And they have the 22 by 36. So that one here, it's saying that it was a 22 by 36. Now when we take the measurements to the actual hole size, 22 by 36 and three quarters. So this actually calls itself a little different than the whole size measurement. These are the numbers we're posting. So if you're close, just remember, we're posting based off the number on this, on this window, but the best way to get a rough estimate is to measure that screw to screw. And as we found, you know what, every window, as long as it's within an inch, it should fit. There's there's some wiggle room, so that's nice. They they left that for us to play with. There's always got to be wiggle room. So now that we've shipped you your, your your used window, you end up taking it. It has not been resealed. We're sending you it just as this one looks right now. So the best thing to do is order some three quarter inch or inch butyl tape, and you're gonna scrape off all the old residue from here, all the old residue, and it's kind of like sticky putty. You stick it around the whole way down, stick it back in the hole, and you're gonna re-put that frame on. Once that frame goes on, it sucks it up and you might end up with butyl tape sticking out the edges. That's okay. Take a piece of plastic and just nicely trim around and boom, your new window is in, not broken, ready to, ready to camp. And she fits.